Let's start by examining the needle holder. This is a ringed instrument. You'll notice that there are two rings in back, a ratchet, the shaft or body of the needle holder, the hinge, and then the jaws of the needle holder. If you look inside the jaws, you'll notice that there are serrations. This gives us better control over suture material and also various types of needles. Now let's look at the control methods for the needle holder. First, we'll start with the finger control. The thumb goes in the upper ring. The ring finger goes in the lower ring. The index finger goes on the body or shaft of the needle holder. The middle finger and the pinky can add stability to the lower ring. To open the needle holder in this manner, you will push forward with the thumb and push towards the palm with the ring finger, the middle finger, and the pinky. Notice that we have multiple points of contact on this needle holder. Now let's look at the palming method to control the needle holder. The upper ring goes on the pad of the thumb. The index finger will again be applied to the shaft or body of the needle holder. The pinky, ring finger, and middle finger will be applied to the lower ring. To open and close the needle driver using this method, push towards the palm with the pinky, ring finger, and middle finger, and oppose that pressure with the pad of the thumb. 